Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we are back for maybe one of my biggest wheel it starts ever. We've got a Plymouth Switcher diesel locomotive, if you will. Uh, but we've got not only one, but we've got four to choose from. So we're gonna try to get one of these. We haven't really looked at them too much. I did bring all of our wheel at start supplies, some batteries, some fuel, fuel line, and some little tools here and there. Um, but we're gonna go through and see which one is gonna be our best candidate to start it. And then we are going to make this thing freaking start up. So let's get at it. So the first one here, I have no idea what year these things are, but just looking at it, it's got a big cam Cummins engine in it, but it's missing something. No dang old turp ski in the back back there. So these hoses are looking a little rough. I don't know about this one. And they- uh, It's the trees for me. That, that's Got that's... some stuff growing through it. I don't know. We may have to pass on this boy. Let's check the oil on it. She don't look bad, but it ain't oh, got no black. turbo on it. So that's, that presents a problem. So we may have to pass on this one. Let's, yeah, they got it disconnected there. So someone's probably been trying to start this one already. So it's probably not a good candidate. Oh, look at, look at that. Would you look at that? That bolt might, it back on. That right there. Oh, yeah. no movie movie. Not running. All right, next. It's not gonna start that boy. This one looks like a this good candidate. A, yeah, it might not be bad. It's got a complete. This looks like a small cam Cummins. Solid candidate. Got some rusted stuff on it. All right, all right. I forgot to tell you guys, we are here at the Florida Flywheelers down here in Fort Meade, Florida. Big annual tractor show they do like, I think November or December, January and February. They do like three shows a year. So let's check out the next one. This one is huge. I'm liking this one more and more as we look at it. We kind of glanced at it a little bit. It's got oh. a stack, but it's got a rain cap on it. So that means it's probably maybe not going to have water in the, in the engine. So it might not be locked up. Something's going to crawl out of here and get us. We ain't careful. Another oh, big... this one's full of thorns. Yeah, I don't know. Got a big Cam Cummins in it. Oh, about got it. This might be a solid candidate there, halfway. Let's, I don't think the oil dipstick's on. Yeah, it's on the other side. Let me walk around here and try to get into it. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Well, try to walk over there the best that I can, but uh, you see everything's tag longs and thorns around here. Yeah, the oil. This one's got a turbo on it. Oh, does it? We're not doing too bad. It's even got an air cleaner on it still. You got oil on it, no water. That's a good start. That's a big old motor. This might be a solid candidate. Looks like someone's got the belts off of the air compressor, which we're not trying to make them move, we're just trying to make them start. So first things first, let's see. I think this could be our best candidate. We'll look at the little guy in a minute. So the big cams, their injection pump, basically is just a high pressure fuel pump that feeds the injector. So we don't really need to crack any injectors loose or anything. You can kind of see it right there. Yeah. This wire that goes to it, we just need to hook power to it and it should click the solenoid on to let the engine run. These battery cables aren't looking too hot. And I don't even know where to start to try to find the the starter's right there. Well, the starter's right there, but I don't even know where the batteries would be on this mug. I don't know. If I was a betting man, they probably aren't too good anymore. Here. Check it out. This is looking a little sketch. Climbing up in here one hand, it's a little, a little sketch too. That's a big old transmission. But watch out for some wasp nests in here. That must be the brake or something right there. Maybe someone could chime in down there in the comment. Oh, she do have a heater though. She do have a heater. I don't know about that ignition box though. She might be a little toast. Well, there's a battery wire right there. Right here's the battery box. Right down there. Right down here. But I'm thinking we may have pretty good luck starting it with our battery sitting close to it because that's a long run of battery cables. So that's a big, big drop in amperage. So I don't know. We're gonna find out. So I went to Rural King the other day, as you guys seen in our wheel at start preparation video, I bought two big old deep cycle batteries, 8D batteries. We've got some diesel right there. I picked up some fuel line from Napa and some other stuff. See if we can get this thing's drug over there and get them wired up and we'll get those other battery cables removed. Shoot. 
You can pick that thing up. You got it. No for me, dog. Got old halfway. That thing weighs more than you do, probably. Guarantee it. <laughs> Yeah, if this one don't start, that's it for the day, right? You retired? All right. Guess we'll grab some, uh, or maybe a three-quarter wrench, take that nut right there loose. And we'll just hook our battery cables right to it and see if we can make it work. Dude, we need to find a little rake or something. Oh, so yeah. the wire, oh, easy now. Don't, don't, I'm don't. Tap, dang, squeeze it back around. Jeez, hey. Gina. I'm the captain. Look at that. Squeeze it around. Sure you know what you're doing? Nope. All right, so we got we're gonna we got our factory battery cable disconnected. We're going to um, hook some batteries straight up to the starter here. We've checked the oil. We need to get the intake pipe probably pulled off that turb ski so we can uh, shove some starter fluid in the, or starter in a can down our throat hole. Uh, why did you bought the shortest battery cable you could find at Nova, <laughs> didn't you? So we'll, make it. Ah. we'll make it work we'll make it work so we got the one battery hooked up to it guys and the starter barely clicks so i'm going to assume this is a 24 volt setup so i've got our other battery and i've got a little jumper lead here that we can make a 24 volt system out of so that's what we're gonna do you got that turbo one hooked up there let's go to florida flywheelers enjoyable day off we're just gonna look at tractors. So we got our battery set up for 24 volts. I know it looks a little funny, but um, it's right. <laughs> just because of the way the posts are set up and how far our battery cables are. But we got our engine shutdown tool in case it decides to go funny. Uh, I've got our clicker on there. Oh, she ain't locked up. You're probably gonna take a bath in there. Yeah, let me get out of the door. <laughs> So I wired up our fuel solenoid right here, guys, on the injection pump, but it's not, um, not doing what it's supposed to. So I don't know what the deal is. It looks like it might kind of be at idle. I don't know. We're going to find out. Austin's got our uh, engine stop board ready to go. Let's see what she does. Plankton. She spins over fast. This might be a little sketch. Here we go. Get ready with it. That was too easy. That was way too easy. Jeez. <laughs> I think she ran out of fuel. Gosh. <laughs> that was way too easy. Oh my. Yeah, I think our fuel solenoid is not letting fuel go in the injection. But well, that's, hey, that's, that's one down. That's one. Uh oh, what's that noise? Probably a hydraulic leaking or something. Uh, something in this thing. Air. Yeah. She might go. There she goes. Have Planky ready. <laughs> that's good. I know. I don't know how to shut it off though. Try it. You're not getting air, you're not getting it all the way over it. Well, the board's not very straight. It might just shut itself off. Right here. Put this 
Wait till it runs out of fuel, I guess. There you go. What? I want a swivel. The only way we found to get it to shut off other than idle with a stop stick over it was to uh, undo the fuel on it. We got that unhooked now. We should stop, we should stop in a minute, yeah. That's why I brought spare clothes. Go ahead and give her a rev. There she goes. It'll shut off. Hold it back. Well, on to the next one. Well, we got one Plymouth running. We're off to the next one here. That's another Plymouth. I guess they're all Plymouth. <laughs> This one's like Plymouth, like Chrysler. Yeah, Chrysler. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Shoot. <laughs> Always wanted an old boot bar. Take what I can get. So this one, like I said, I think has a small cam. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but the starter's on this side. It's probably 24 volt also. And the injection pump is on the other side. Same style kind of injection pump as what was on the big cam over there. Um, so we're going to see if it'll run on the fuel that's in it. If it, you know, we, we need to check the oil in it, I guess. We'll double check that right quick. Try to get bit by some poison ivy bugs. Well, I'll let you stick your hand down in there, pal. You go for it. Oh, there's the dick, them dipstick. Give her a pull. Oh. oh. She got oil in it, and there ain't no Ooh, water in it. on the money, too. That's good. All I'll right. Take care of their Let's get this rig set up. Oh, there's some rails right there. So we got enough stuff to put these things on the rails. What the heck? Shoot. So we, got our bat so we got our batteries halfway hooked up. How's the turp ski looking? Ooh. Let me move the dirt dobbers out of there. Oh, there we first. go. Okay, okay. Oh, she spins. She spins. Hey, we're off uh, to a good start. Come on. Get the old stopper stopper thing ready to rock. We'll get this ground hooked up. 24 volt. We'll see what she does. Taking the chains. All right, so we got a smaller stop stick. Are you ready? I'm trying to dig the out of this one first. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We're probably going to have to uh, put some power to that fuel cylinder, but we're going to find out. Here we go. Woo! She don't like that 24 volt. <laughs> Hit her with some ether, see if she'll cheech. So guys, while we were starting these things, Wayne from the Florida Railroad Museum just restored one of these. Maybe I'll get you to send me some pictures when so you throw yeah. them up. Not, well, one of these at the Florida Railroad Museum, but can you tell us a little bit about the interior or the inside of the cabin? Would you call it the cabin on these? Yeah. Okay. So what does all these <laughs> rods and all this crazy stuff in here do? There and I can point them out to you. Sure. Just gonna be careful what I want. Yeah, you might you might get a need a tetanus shot if you're not careful. So yeah, be I careful. know that feeling. This is your brake stand. Okay, so you move that to stop and go. That runs the air brakes. Okay. This is your throttle. This goes to the engine. Yep. And it's basically a throttle. What you have down here is a shift lever for air. Okay. And what that does is it shifts the torque converter and the transmission, which is right down here. There's a lever. You okay. see it sticking up yep. down there. You go that way or this way forward or reverse pretty simple what's the big what's the big uh wheel this, there this here yeah is your handbrake so that's you, that's what you park it with <laughs> okay okay and this here is the sander and that does oh that puts sand on the that tracks it runs air to those two tanks that are up front there uh -huh. and it opens the valve and shakes it and, and sand drops down on the on front of the wheels to give so it traction. traction okay cool so that's what that's for well maybe you can uh help us get this old plymouth right here running take a look at it all right that's what one of the reasons i come here is i always see these i've been trying to get those brake stands one of those brake stands is a spare oh i know the fellow we got permission from maybe i can set you up with him i'd appreciate it so we've got some wire we're going to run hot over here to the fuel solenoid on the injection pump see if we can get it um get it going got your eye protection on now cosby and the can, the can. we got the fuel solenoid activated watch out that drive oh there's no clutch activated so we're good here we go Run number two. Feed it to it. Feed it to it. I'm 
gonna tap on this while you're doing that. Oh, it's this little line. What kind of line? Transition fluid. Uh, Where? My daughter's party mask. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, this one starts up on old ether. So we just blew a line and we don't want to make a mess on these folks' ground, so. Well, poop. What do you say we take a break? Yep. And then we'll tack the last one. Sound like a plan? I'm thirsty. Me too. So like I mentioned before, we're out here at the Florida Flywheelers and it is golf cart heaven. Shoot. Sorry for the wind noise if there is any. Dang, Nanny Ma on her scooter, look at that. Let's see if we can find some other cool stuff you guys check out while we're on our, on our union break. What that is? Big motor. Hey, Big Daddy. Now we didn't get to see it start. Probably got an air starter on it. Diesel, Fairbanks, Morse. Feel it shaking the ground? No, it's diesel. That's cool. Just think about all this stuff. A whole lot of extra. All of that just to make a little bit of ice cream. Yay, hey, big. Does their time. Well, done. Ain't that neat. It's like a whole lot of ocean violations. Look at this unit. See the carburetor? <laughs> belt or something. Oh, it's driving a tire up there, see it? Oh dear God. What do you say? Concrete. We're back over here at the old railroad museum and uh, gonna get to Plymouth down here on the end run and hopefully, it doesn't have a Cummins in it, it's got some other kind of engine in it. Maybe you guys can tell me what it's got. It's got a traditional style inline injection pump on it. It is a six cylinder. That's the one missing the exhaust, right? Yeah, no exhaust on it. There's an engine plate there. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out though. Leave it alone. It's a, it's a museum thing. You can't have it. Very nice. Almost. I need it. Already have a fire truck. Need another fire truck. All right, let's drag some batteries over here. Right there. Well, folks, we've been going at it. I think the starter on this thing is just in really terrible shape. Um, all she wants to do is click. The engine's not froze up. We can kind of get it to bar over a little bit if we try welding some stuff to it, but it's not happy. This one probably would run if it had a good starter on it, but it don't. So we're gonna write this one off as a almost, almost ran. We got two out of four running. Can't complain, can't complain. Well, folks, we'll say sayonara to these trains. We got them freaking started, two of them at least. Well, as you would put it, halfway. Got ha half of them done. So if you enjoyed this Will It Start video, we're we'll trying to do some original Will It Start content, some Will It Start so that people haven't done uh, stuff that I haven't done before and hope this did it for you guys. Make sure you smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. We'll be seeing you soon. Catch you on the next
right there is what's running that thing, the old steam engine. 